Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome day off the Stony Ridge Farm. We are actually in Minneapolis, Minnesota at the Toro headquarters. And today we're gonna show you guys some really cool advancements in technology in the mowing industry. So come along today as we have a little bit of fun. Toro is gonna let us test out and try some new battery powered equipment, which battery powered zero turn mowers, all sorts of awesome stuff, all sorts of commercial grade mowers, and all sorts of things that you might be interested for your large property or your small property, your lawn. So come along today as we learn a little bit about what Toro has to offer and we're gonna have a whole lot of fun. A lot of influencers are here and we're gonna show you guys all these other YouTubers that you might not know. All right guys, so welcome to the channel today. This is a special day. So Toro actually reached out to me and several other uh, YouTubers that are in the lawn care industry, the farm industry, the tool review industry, and they reached out to us to invite us to Toro's headquarters to try out some of their new cool stuff. So it's really flattering to be here. Thanks a lot to Toro. Toro just builds quality products. So guys, we were out here touring the factory just now. This is the research and development and testing area right here. So we got to see all the cool things that they do to test these products before they hit the market for you guys to buy. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that you don't even know about. They beat the snot out of these machines so that when you get them, they know they're gonna hold up to their warranty. Awesome guys. So just get ready because we're going to see some technology you've probably never seen but first we're going to walk around we're going to show you guys some of the history of toro real quick so here at headquarters there's all sorts of old factory photos and stuff like that and again we are in minneapolis minnesota this is an old school tractor right here from toro back from 1919 check it out awesome awesome machine got the old hand crank right here to start it up as we cruise on down through here, you can see some of these handheld reel type mowers, uh, powered reel type mower, another handheld. This is from 1927. Again, 1927, old stuff that you might see in your great grandparents' garage. And check this critter out right here Golf Course City Park Maintenance Equipment Toro. Awesome, guys. Got a battery on there from 1927. Hard to believe that these tools have been around for that long. As we walk just a little bit further, here is an awesome roller compactor right here from 1930. This is uh, sold to pro schools and athletic fields for road maintenance. It's got a little Toro engine. As we cruise right along here, got an awesome alternative hand push mower from 1936. Right here, 1938, 18 inch model for lawns of an acre or less. Check that out, chain drive, little bitty motor on that thing. This is just Toro history all through here. One of the coolest ones that I saw is from 1946 right here. And this is a World War II development project, 36 inch sickle bar mower. Check it out, awesome. It is called the Zipper, <laughs> check that out. Really, really cool guys. Solid tires, little motor on the back, neat stuff for sure check out this critter right here so this is an open deck toro circa 1948 uh what a really really cool mower whirlwind mower another whirlwind mower from 1949 you can see the advancement of this mower right here and guys just night and day advancements in uh, mowing technology check this critter out right here the pony rider 1957 pony rider 2.75 horsepower Toro's first residential riding mower. Check that out. 
So that's a lot of the antique department right there. And we're gonna go to the new stuff. Toro is very innovative and very proud of their products. These guys really, really care. And as you can see, this place is clean as a whistle. Absolutely beautiful facility. Now we got this guy right here, veteran of the United States Army, retired military <laughs> guy, right? Uh, tell us about your channel, what you do. How's it going guys? Johnny with Blades of Grass Lawn Care. And basically what I do is everything lawn care. Uh, equipment, um, introductions. And you're big into electrical, battery, battery right? Battery stuff. Yeah. I'm talking about, you know, um, <laughs> string trimmers, edgers, blowers, you name it. When it comes to battery, I'm the guy. Nice. We got one more guy over here. Here's a local neighbor. I just met him. I had to go all the way to Minnesota to meet this guy. Yeah. Uh, tell us about who you are. What's up? I'm Mitchell out of Colfax, North Carolina, like right through the woods uh, from a man Josh here. Yeah. So I own and operate Mitchell's Lawn Care LLC. So uh, right now, just you know, lawn care, landscaping based. And, uh, but I'm, I'm venturing into to some more tractor work. Awesome. So, uh, it's glad to be here, man. And glad I got to meet you. Yeah. If you don't know who this is, you'll know more tomorrow. It's Stanley the Dirt Monkey. We are going to have fun tomorrow. Yes, we are. Today. Today, yeah, heck yeah. Who are you? What do you do? Chris here of CNI Service, we're out of Chicago, uh, suburbs Chicago, we do landscaping and snow removal. Cubs fan? Cubs fan, yeah. big Blackhawks fan. Yeah. Surprisingly not a Bears fan, go pack. <laughs> Guy right here, is that a vegan dish? Dessert. I don't think so. Organic. <laughs> Tell them who you are. Hey, I'm Paul Jameson with the Green Industry Podcast. Yep, awesome podcast, guys. Check out the Green Industry Podcast. I think I'm on it, right? Yes, sir. All All right. Right. Got to have Good you back stuff. on. This is an awesome spreader. So right here, you've got a spray rig and a spreader all in one right here from Toro. And uh, this, I don't think, has quite made it out to the public yet. Really, really cool. Yeah, it's a prototype, but it's pretty similar to what's probably going to be out there. Uh, all stainless steel construction. Beautiful beautiful welds. This hopper holds about 250 pounds of material, whether it's salt, fertilizer, and this is a spray rig. So you guys know we have a tow behind spray rig on the farm that's 16 feet wide. This is 10 feet wide and it's a spray rig. You can actually put two different chemicals in. So if you had some sort of a weed killer in this side and you had a broadleaf killer on this side. This is designed for lawn care professionals, for po people that are getting up snow, for uh, up here in Minnesota where it's really cold, uh, covering sidewalks with ice melt. Really, really cool, robust, very, very strong, awesome, awesome machine. You got easy access to your engine right here. This is the Vanguard engine right here. Awesome, very cool critter. All stainless steel construction, so you never have to worry about it deteriorating or rusting. Check this out, we got an electric mower going on. Start this electric mower. Let's hear this thing, man. That's it, man, that's it, it's on. That's awesome, check it out. Electric, stand up mower. Awesome, guys. So we got all kinds of cool equipment here we're gonna be showing you. I apologize, it's a little shady under that tree. This is the Z-Master 2000. Potentially one of these will be on the farm for testing and tool reviews, awesome stuff, and to keep the yard mode. So this is the close to entry level commercial grade mower right here, okay? A little bit bulkier, a little bit bigger than what we have on the farm currently. Uh, again, awesome bullnose deck right here. Uh, nice step right here, everything, no step there. This is where all your belts and stuff are. Underneath here, you can see everything that you need to access for checking your belts cleaning the machine. Nice suspension seat, again, from Toro, everything here from Toro. Big, robust cup holder right here. You can put all sorts of stuff right here if you want to pick up trash or whatever, you got that covered. A little cell phone pocket right there with a charging port. And also, made in USA, Briggs & Stratton engine right here, guys. Again, pretty similar to the mower that we have on the Stony Ridge farm already. Let's just get into the cockpit here and sit down and show you guys how it feels. So it doesn't matter how it looks, if it doesn't ride good and it's not smooth and it doesn't feel good. So guys, I've got my grips here. They're nice and ergonomic. You can stretch out on this machine. You've got a knob right here that adjusts to the weight of the operator. So it's nice and cushy. Pretty similar to, again, the other mower that we have on the farm. But if you see right here, you've got a nice knurled pedal right here for adjusting, raising, and lowering your deck. Here's how you adjust your deck height right here. And that's how you lower your deck down. It locks into place for going over curbs and stuff like that. Really nice commercial machine. Access everything underneath right here. Very, very, very nice. So I'm gonna walk over here and we're gonna take a quick look. All these influencers are walking around with their cameras right here. So this guy here, this guy here. <laughs> 
This is the Z Master Turbo 460 Deck Revolution Series battery powered zero turn mower. Look at that. So, this is the motor system right here. I'm not going to go into all the detail, but I'll tell you, we just toured the Toro facility and they do a lot of testing to make sure everything is absolutely perfect on this. Underneath here, is your battery power you've got motors that run your rear wheels you've got motors that run this so no belts no worries about belts you got a different kind of suspension system on here we're going to jump on and try it out so we're going to turn the key on and we're going to take it for a little spin so you guys are so used to getting on a zero turn mower and reaching over here and no you just turn the key on it's ready so pull this in are we ready to go that's it listen do you hear that? That is crazy. All right, so now we're gonna engage the blades right here real quick. Here's the PTO. It sounds like a fan in the garage. That's all it sounds like. So we're gonna take off out through here. Man, I'm impressed, holy cow. So here we go. driven the hydraulic motors would be really jerky when you pull back on them in other words if you pull back and push forward it's gonna ride a wheelie it's gonna be a little more uh, I don't even know how to say this but a little bit more dangerous uh, in the aspect of someone new learning how to run a zero turn because it's an acquired taste you need to learn how to run these things when I pull this back and push it forward it's not as jerky and as a uh, standard gas powered mower turn the key off no worries right there that's it so man i am super super impressed with these guys and i hope to see one of these on the channel very soon too we want to test out some electrical equipment on the farm from electrical side by sides to electrical zero turn mowers and you guys already know that i am a huge fan of uh, electrical vehicles on the farm i'm a huge fan of electrical power tools because they just don't require fuel they don't require all that maintenance and they always start so let's go look at some more stuff Johnny Blades of Grass right here. What do you think about that critter right there? Backpack blower, 700. Good, Love to see your fans, man. Yeah, 700 CFM, right? Oh, definitely, man. It's a beast. Awesome. Do some things with this. All battery powered, so you just pop a lid right here, guys. And right inside there are two 10 amp hour, or 10 amp hour, I believe, battery packs, okay? And they can easily be charged. We'll push button right there. 10 amp hour. 60 volt setup right here all of them drop right in all of these toro batteries and you'll probably see one of these on the farm pretty soon too all of them are interchangeable with all these pieces of equipment so this is the backpack blower this is the string trimmer commercial string trimmer this is the charging station right here this is a hedge clipper and this is another backpack so you can run the backpack tethered to the string trimmer via this tether right here plugs right into the backpack or you can run the big blower or you can run the hedge clipper super handy super versatile unit really really cool stuff guys again toro is getting it right this is the stand on grandstand revolution electrical stand on mower check it out so quiet speedy little critter too Let's see how quiet it is when you engage that blade. Man, that's nice. Awesome. By the way, guys, this is Christian with CNI Services. Christian with CNI Services, guys. I'll post a link to everybody's channel that we're watching right here. Awesome, awesome stuff. You're a pro landscaper, right? Yep, pro this... landscaper. Uh, we do maintenance, landscape, snow removal in Chicago. Nice, Chicago. So we are gonna take the big monster z master 2004 ride but first we got to put our earplugs in as with any mower it's gonna reach down here contact oh smooth
you know, just about 20 seconds on that and I can just tell, man, this thing is just sheer power. It really is. There's such a difference in a commercial grade mower versus the homeowner type grade mower. Uh, you can just feel the power. So, man, I can't wait to try and get one of these on the farm. Guys, you are gonna see this fella in a future video. If you haven't already seen him, maybe our video from tomorrow might come out first. But this is Stanley Dirt Monkey, heck of a good friend, friend of the Stony Ridge farm he is our people so except when i call you stony river farm yeah no. oh man you guys flamed me that's, and i was like that's good that shows you guys care <laughs> stony lake ridge farm <laughs> <laughs> stanley dirt uh, stanley dirt chipmunk <laughs> yeah there you go i don't care what you call me don't, uh, don't call me late for supper that's it <laughs> well it's been a pleasure being here with you today stan and tomorrow guys we're we are going to give you a little tidbit into stan's life at his lake house and we're going to have an awesome some time in the uh, sherp oh god we are we've got an adventure set we're going to be testing sherps we're going to be testing fat trucks we're going to be driving through lakes over cars we're going to be going in places that no four-wheel vehicle <laughs> should be able to go I've nice been there did it done it it is a phenomenal good time <laughs> And I am so looking forward to this. And hopefully you guys will have fun on the ride as well, because I Heck think yeah. it's going to be a phenomenal, just yep. a great time. Absolutely. Well, we're here at Toro today and the Z-Master 2000, guys. I foresee this potentially being on the farm again. I'll tell you, all these guys, I'll post links to all their social media sites. These are the lawn care professionals. Stan has a construction hardscape type business, does yep. a lot of construction work, concrete work, all kinds of stuff, anything and everything, right? Right. Yep. So, yeah, um, I'm, I'm an actual contractor, not a YouTuber that pretends he's one. Right, yep. exactly. Yep. And I'm an actual farmer, not a YouTuber that pretends he's one. <laughs> but I am out here playing with lawnmowers. So, <laughs> guys, take care. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video here on the Stony Ridge. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back here for some awesome content. Woo! Just absolutely great. What? What's it for? It's not for bouncing? This knob? Yeah. That's for adjusting for your weight in case you're a big guy, right? Yeah, you got it set at 170? I got it set at 170 for me, but I'm not 170. <laughs> Let's add 50 pounds to that. Where's the choke? No choke? Where choke? To the mower we were just on. Except for I almost fell down getting on it. There we go. Oh, man. There goes Mr. Naylor. I'll race you. I don't care. Let's go. What you there goes Mr. Naylor. I'll race you. I don't care. Let's go. What you got? What you got? What you got, buddy? <laughs> See y'all.